Hey guys, once again it's Saturday. I've got one heck of a show for you. And as usual, I'm going to go grab myself another coffee. You grab yourself a coffee and we'll meet back here for today's show. Good morning. Oh, sorry guys. Hello again and welcome to Sylvia on Saturday. Today is Saturday, September 9th, and it's the ninth episode. So, yeah. How awesome is that? You'd think I planned it, but I didn't. Um, yesterday was my birthday. Yay me. I officially now have to check the box that says over 45. Ah. Um, this show is different. Um, there's been a different, I don't know if they're challenges or whatnot, but YouTube tag questionnaire things on YouTube all over the place. So I did a few of them, put them together for today's show. It actually probably would have made a way better pilot for my show than my actual pilot did because it tells you a lot about me and a lot about my show. So well, you're welcome to join me, have a coffee, and yeah, get to know me, get to know a bit more about the show. Okay, this is being completed for the small YouTuber tag. I don't know if it's a challenge or what, but yeah, here it is. Okay, the five, oh, seven questions, sorry. Seven questions. Oh, um, Facebook Live. I would go on Facebook Live because I've got a lot of people that don't live in town anymore, so I would do live and they could keep in touch. And I had actually quite a few people would watch it and, you know, comment on it or talk to me, you know, oh, I saw your video, yada, 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 and it's great because they could keep an up what was going on in my life. So, I decided to switch it to YouTube because then I could do other things as well, like the teaching and the showing and the cooking and the everything that's available here. So, yeah. I have been on YouTube Okay, I do an episode every Saturday, and I just put together episode 8, so I've been on for two months, I guess. And have you had other channels? No, I have not had other channels. This is my first foray into the big wide world of the web type of idea. Um, I see myself all the way across the country in a city which is kind of scary to me. Those of you that know, I've lived in a small town my entire life. Um, but yeah, it's time for a change. So I'm just trying to get the money saved up and everything organized so I can actually go. Um, and for my channel, I'll still be doing it for the same reason to keep in touch with everybody that I leave behind here. Wow messages, I guess. I have so many different angles that I want to actually to do, like I'm doing the cooking. I love to cook, I love to discover new recipes, and I love to share them. So that's part of it. Um, people to watch for, news, what's happening. Um, basically just you be comfortable with who you are. I mean, like, yeah, just it's okay to be you. You know, you're going to see me on my bad days. You're going to see me on my good days mostly unedited. I edit for time-wise and big silences and stuff, but usually my stumbles and my screw-ups, I'll just leave them in because you guys get me. It's me. There you go. I have not been in school for a very long time, but I've got people from school on my Facebook and I advertise a lot for my channel on Facebook. One of my free subscribers, yay, <laughs> is um, actually my best friend from high school. So I guess technically people from school do find my channel. I mean, my username is Sylvie on Saturday because that's the name of my show because I put it up on Saturdays. My name is Sylvie. The show is on Saturdays. My username, Sylvie on Saturdays. Easy enough. Chant magic. He's actually going to be the first one I do when I do my Sylvie Suggest bits as well. Chant magic. 
rocks. I'm telling you, he's awesome. Um, I'm not sure if Nick Nimmons counts as a small YouTuber because he's pretty big now, but um, yeah, he's Chant Magic's the first one that comes to mind. I know there's a few other ones, and I've actually found some more today while I was researching this little tag thing. Um, Doug started following. This is actually how I got it. Doug started following me on Twitter. So I went and checked out his channel, and yeah, so yeah, he's pretty cool. He's only been here for three weeks, he already knows more than I do. You know how I get the little YouTube, or the website addresses I actually type in and they just scroll across the screen and you gotta write them down or something? He's already figured out how to make that little white box up there that's a link. So I gotta look into that, because apparently it's pretty easy. So yeah, that was the seven things for my small YouTuber tag. This is the new YouTube tag. Um, I haven't even done a real intro about me, so this is going to be kind of that as well. Um, what is my name? Sylvie. Sylvie on Saturday is kind of a given. Where am I from? I am from a tiny little town. Actually, I was born in Ottawa, which is the capital of Canada, but at like a year old I moved way up in the boondocks in northern BC. and. I've left a couple of times, never for long, I always come back home. How tall are you? <laughs> you have short am I? I spent a lot of time telling people I'm five foot one and a half and don't you forget the half. Wait, I measured myself recently, four eleven and three quarters. So I either measured myself wrong at the five and a half, five at foot one and a half, or I'm shrinking. So either either, not so good. How many siblings? I have one of each. I have a sister who's four years younger. She has two daughters and a granddaughter, which is yay, adorable. And I have a younger brother who has just had his first. His son is actually the same age as my sister's granddaughter, so it's kind of funny. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, a few of these questions I've actually answered in the small YouTuber tag, so I'm going to kind of skip over them, but, uh, is this your first channel? That was kind of answered. Yes, this is my first channel. This is my only channel. I've got a lot of different angles, but it all kind of gets thrown into the one show, so this will probably remain my only channel. What is your channel about? I just explained. It's about everything. It's about everything I'm interested in, I think you might be interested in. Things that are going on in the news, in the world, in my town, just... Yeah, it's about everything. Um, people should subscribe because there's always going to be something new. It's, yeah, you can catch up on whatever. And if you have an idea for a segment, please comment down below. I will research and put together something on everything. I've got a few different projects in the go. I've got one on... Oh, I'm planning on doing an entire show on medical marijuana at some point in time. I've got one bit almost put together. I'm just actually waiting for response from a girlfriend of mine that um, is actually personally affected, I guess, by the situation. So, yeah, it's being put together and it will be aired. Um, five years, I already answered that. Answered that. Favorite YouTubers, again, Chant Magic. Um, Hatman is getting up there too. I just found him and I've checked out a few. He's pretty cool. Um, oh, advice to new YouTubers. Again, I said it in my first, well, my midweek one, which I took down. As soon as I get a stop pile, I'm going to start releasing it again. But my major piece of advice is just to do it. Just to turn your camera on and do it. It doesn't have to be fancy. I mean, I do everything on my Samsung phone. I don't have lighting. I have a desk lamp, obviously. That's why everything's really bright. Um, the editing program I got free through Google Play. It doesn't cost a lot. It just... I don't know about it taking courage because, honestly, I'm sitting in my living room talking to a phone. I have no idea if I'm talking to two people or 20,000 people. It's, it's been a lot of fun. I am enjoying it thing about YouTube. I can be in touch with everybody without having to leave my house. Yay! That's... And the community on YouTube is amazing. Like, you have questions, go ask. You can find out 
anything and everything about anything and everything. It's amazing. Worst thing about YouTube is... I have to agree with Jasmine. She's actually the one that I watched to get the questions for this. The haters. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. That easy. Golden rule. It's been that way forever. YouTube goals. Mm, I don't know. I'm just having a lot of fun doing this. I want more subscribers, obviously. I don't have a number. As my numbers get up, I'm going to be doing like giveaways and draws and yada yada yada. So we'll see how that all goes. So yeah, that was my new YouTuber tag answer session, I guess. So yeah, a little bit more about me. So if any of that sounded interesting to you, click the little thumbs up button down below the like and click subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and you'll get my show every week and see what I'm up to and get my little midweek things once I get them started. And yeah, um, yeah, like I said, if any of that sounded interesting, click subscribe and if not, just watch the rest of the show and maybe I can convince you. Hi again, um, I found another YouTube tag that I thought, I'm like, yeah, I'm having fun with these lately. Anyways, this is my YouTube journey. It's six quick questions. Some of them are going to be kind of hard to answer, but we'll see how it works. That I'm even doing this. That's what I'm proud of. That I'm putting it out there. I'm putting myself out there. I'm, hi guys. Um, I'm pretty much a homebody. I'm pretty much an introvert, so I don't like big crowds. I've told people to plenty of times. Even if I like everybody, I don't want them all in the same room at the same time because it kind of gets, oh, but this has been a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Uh, a lot. <laughs> I've learned about editing. I've learned about sound. I've learned about, oh, there's a lot more that goes into these shows than you would think. I thought I could turn my camera on, talk, it would be perfect. It doesn't work like that. It's easy, but not that easy. So I've learned that it takes work. But it takes work to write a letter, it takes work to do anything. So if you want having fun doing something, it's not so much work, it's just a chore. Well, I'm not even sure if that's the word I'm looking for, but yeah. I've learned that it actually takes work to do something like this. But it is a lot of fun and it is worth it the work that you put into it. My first, my first welcome one, um, kind of sucks. It's dark, it's blurry, it's gross. Um, I actually just recently, um, privated it because it's really bad. Maybe I'll go grab it and throw it in here, we'll see. This is the one that I'm having issues with. Professional life, I don't have one right now. I'm actually unemployed. I'm looking for work. I'm a secretary receptionist by trade. That's what all my training is. I'm, you know, fluent, blah, blah, blah. Um, although I've been driving cab for, I drove cab for four years. Quit that about a week, year ago, just over a year ago now, and I have been doing nothing. So I'm looking to get back to work now because I need to save up money to move. Um, Um, is actually from, I believe, episode two. It was the first big editing project I did. I took um, the Bible in 50 Words, which was a craft project I did with my children when they were little, and put it to Amazing Grace and some beautiful scenic shots from where I live. And yeah, it turned out so good. That's actually, I think, the one that I like the best. dream is to have a bunch of people who watch and comment and give me suggestions on what they want to see on my show so that I know what to do because you'll notice some shows are only 15 minutes because I just run out of ideas that week. It's like, oh my goodness, or I'm so full of ideas I don't know where to start. Like I've got three or four different projects on the go, but none of them are ready to be put into a show yet. So 
yeah, the dream is to just keep doing this and to get more and more people watching and engaging and suggesting and commenting and just to build up an entire community, I guess, maybe? I'm not sure, but yeah, that's... Oh, and that was question six, so we are done. That was This Is My YouTube Journey So Far. Another YouTube tag question video thing that I'm going to do for you. This one is the questions that nobody asks. I've seen a couple of them and they're funny, so I thought I would add mine in. And here you are. It's about 35 questions that you can find out a lot more about me. Okay, my nickname is Silver. Easy. Um, I used to go by Silver on IRC. I go by it a lot, actually. If people ask what my nickname is, I usually use that. Although in high school it was Sliver, which is a whole different subject. Definitely aisle seat. Um, sitting beside the window in a vehicle, moving vehicle, without being able to see directly out the front makes me nauseous. I'm afraid of heights, so if I was in an airplane, I definitely don't want to be looking out the window. I'll sit in the aisle, thanks. Um, I bathe, I drive, go for drive, crank the music, have a cigarette, go fast, definite stress reliever. Um, I'm not sure, I don't remember watching a lot of TV when I was younger. I liked Dukes of Hazards, that was good. Um, I watched Disney, but that wasn't really a show, it was like a different movie every week. Um, I wanted to be a teacher. As far as I remember, I wanted to be a teacher, but once I got into high school and actually started looking at careers seriously in that, it's receptionist, secretary, office work. I enjoy it. I, it's what I like to do and it's what I'm good at. I'm not a prank puller, so I don't have a best prank to tell you about. Um, it would have to be my kids. I know that sounds corny, but um, not very often. Now they're, they're grown up and they go their own ways. It's not very often we're all together. We had planned it for my daughter's grad, but it kind of fell through and it didn't work. But I would love to have dinner with all three of my children at the same time. That'd be great. Um, a leather jacket I bought when I was 19, got my trust fund, went out and spent $400 on a kick-ass leather jacket that I'm kicking myself that I've lost over the years, but I'm not sure it would fit me, mind you, but I would love to have it back. Um, Rhea Perlman, definitely. Carla from Cheers, love her, she'd be a perfect me. guitar but I have small fingers I can't do the stretching thing so that's kind of a bust but I would love to learn how to play the guitar I would live somewhere near water I need to be near water by trees um, somewhere not too crowded I'm not much of a people person Australia would be great I'd love to go to Australia I don't know about living there but I'd love to go there Oh, maybe Franny from The Stand. That would be awesome. I love that book. And she's wicked. Just the whole problem I had with the movie version is Molly Ringwald is not Franny in my brain. Um, I don't remember what I dressed up when I was little, little, like when my mom was dressing up and stuff. As long as I can remember, I've been a witch. I'm a witch every Halloween. It's what I love. It's like, yay! Um, my kids were in grade school, I was a witch by 8 o'clock in the morning when I would drop them off at school, and I was a witch all day. It's the one day I could go all out and nobody would... I'm from a very small town. I lived in Edmonton for a little while, I would do the whole gothic thing, but in my town that wouldn't fly. So Halloween I got to do up. You know, I did... The, yeah, I had a lot of fun with Halloween. Um, I don't think it matters. I'm not sure I've ever noticed whether my closet doors are open or closed while I'm asleep. I haven't stayed in a lot of hotels and I don't believe that I've actually taken samples from hotels.
No, I have never stolen a street sign. Definitely out. I, I'd be claustrophobic if they were tucked in. I need to be covered when I'm asleep. I need something to cover me. But I cannot, um, yeah, my feet are kicked out. Like, I've got to pull the blanket up and over so I can kick my feet out. So, yeah. No, I don't always smile. I try to, but I don't. And I've got crappy teeth, so some of them look kind of weird. <laughs> I've done a lot of camping. I live in the bush. We hike. Yeah, I've peed in the woods more than I can even imagine. Hmm. I'm actually not sure. I think the boyfriend has a queen-size bed, but I've never specifically asked or noticed or paid attention. I guess I could go look, but I really don't want to. Um, that would have to be Alice in Chains. They opened for Van Halen when I lived in Edmonton. It was the first big, big rock concert I went to, and it was awesome. I don't think I have a song of the week. I haven't really heard anything recently. I'm watching movies and listening to TV. I listen to a lot of old music, not so much the newer stuff. Yes, of course. Keep coming out with better ones. Guardian of the Galaxy 2 rocked. I just got to see that the other day. Hmm. I can't even remember the last time I wrote a letter. I used to do scrapbooks, like with my daughter when she lived away and with some friends that moved away. I would, you know, buy those little exercise books that you buy for grade school kids and I would do like a little bit every day at pictures, drawings, yada 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 and ship it off but I can't even remember. I should actually do a letter. One. I'm completely fluent in English. I can read French. If you speak slow enough I can kind of catch it but I wouldn't say that I can speak it. Yes, I believe in ghosts. Mm, I think the first one I went to was E.E. E. Cummings or Honeymoon Sweet. I'm not sure. But I think it was the E.E. E. Cummings one. Neither I like potato chips, just regular old potato chips. I was really surprised when I found out that not everybody could do it. I just assumed everybody could do it. I don't even think I've been in a spelling bee. No, no I don't. Who would I like to see in concert? Wow. Um, Metallica, ACDC. Oh, there's a guitar, or uh, a pianist that my boyfriend introduced me to. He's amazing. Um, and his name is gone. I'll find it and put it up there for you, maybe. Neither, I'm not big on sweets. I swim like a fish. I'm an awesome swimmer. I've always lived near the ocean. I've been in lakes, rivers, ocean since I was a little girl. So swimming was a necessity. Same as um, the two younger ones that were raised with me. They both swim like fishes. I try to be. I'm sure I could be more patient, but I try. Banned. Definitely banned for anything. DJ is... No. It's music technically, but yeah, a band. Guitar, drums, bass, singer. That's the best for anything as far as I'm concerned. Mm, I'm not sure if I've ever won a contest or not. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Yes, I have three, as I discussed in the dinner with three people. I have three awesome children. 
Do I want any more? No, I will wait for grandkids. Not too soon, guys. I'm not saying anything, but yeah, next step is grandkids. No more kids for me. So yeah, that was, wow, this will be fun to put together. Anyways, you guys have a great week, and I will see you later. Oh, well, there you have it, folks. That was my show for this week. Did I convince you? If I did, please, please click subscribe and join me every week. Um, I've so many ideas in mind, I don't even know where to start. But the weekly show is definitely guaranteed. You can catch me every Saturday. Um, I try to upload them in the morning. I try to have them all together, actually put together by Friday night so that I can upload them in the morning. But it um, doesn't always work. Sometimes it's the afternoon, depending how awake I am and yada, yada, yada. But as usual, I had a great time putting this together for you this week, and I can't wait to see you guys next week. So enjoy your week, and have a great one, and I will see you next Saturday.